to talk about Real plus the Innovator's Compass. So the Innovator's Compass is this unique tool that Ella Ben Ur, if you don't follow her on Twitter, at Ella Ben Ur, she created for students to create ideas, to brainstorm ideas. Well, I took her idea of the compass and I added my realness, which I love. <clears throat> And I created this compass that I'm going to tell you about. Well, why a compass? Well, I don't know about you guys, but without a GPS, I cannot go anywhere. In fact, even with a GPS, I can barely go places. But so much so that my first week on the job, my first four weeks on my new job, I put my job address in the compass, in the GPS, every single day. I don't have to use it any longer, but it was really that bad. But I think there's times in life where we just need someone to kind of give us some direction and make good use of our time. So we're not wandering around and wandering aimlessly. So this kind of happened with Real and the Innovator's Compass. I got a new job as an administrator and I supervised instructional coaches. So I was moving to a new district. I was going to be a district administrator supervising instructional coaches and I needed to get to know them. You know those 40 minute meetings that you like start a new job and they're like, oh, come in, we're gonna get to know you. And it's like, you just got the job and they're asking you like those interviewing crazy questions. Yeah, I didn't wanna do that. I was like, how can I use this time super wisely and like learn a lot about these people? Well, real is my why. It's what I try to do in everything that I do. I try to stay relatable, expose vulnerability, always approachable and learning through life. So I was like, how can I take real and make these questions real for these people? Like I wanna learn a little bit about them so I can better serve them. Well, I took Ella's compass. I was like, this will work. So basically, we're going to start in the middle, and I'm going to tell you about each part. So we're start about the people. What is it that the people, who do you serve? And then we're going to work around the compass like this. The interesting thing about the compass that throws it for a loop, and people are like, even my coaches were like, this is awkward. It was more awkward at first, and they love it now. But I set a timer. So with each quadrant, I only let them talk or write. They wrote. They wrote down the question, the answers to the questions. They only had two minutes. So with each section, they have two minutes. You can do this with children. You can do this with teachers. It works really well. So I'm going to walk you through each component of the compass and tell you how it helps me to better serve the people, the people that I lead. So the middle, who are the people you serve? I would ask them this question, and then I would throw these two things in. This is the realness. Personally and professionally. Who do you serve personally and professionally? They have two minutes and they wrote everything down on a sticky note. And they wrote as much as they could in two minutes. And you say, why a timer? That's awkward. With the spontaneity of it, though, you have to draw things from your long-term memory. You don't have time to analyze, be like, this is my new boss. I'm not going to tell her that. Like, you just, you just write it down. And then we just stuck the sticky notes right in the middle of the table. And we moved on to the next quadrant, which is the bottom left. What is your current reality? For me, I was starting a brand new coaching program. This district's never had a coaching program, so all these coaches are brand new coaches. And their current reality was fear and frustration. That was professionally. But then they started talking about personal things. I was getting to know that like, some of them had teenagers that were starting to drive. Some of them were just had a brand new baby. Like All of these things that were their current reality, I was learning it in these little two-minute spurts. The next question, how do you know you just rock the day? Well, why would you ask a question like that? The reason I asked a question like that is I wanted to know what is it that they value? What is it when I'm serving you and Aldo, you're having a rough day? I know you're having a rough day because you just sent me an email. I'm coming out to your school and I know that you love Starbucks coffee. I'm bringing you a Starbucks coffee. If that makes you feel like you rock the day, that's what I want to do for you. So this is a way that I started to learn things that they value. What is it that they love? They love their organization. They love this or that. And then the, na the next question before I stop, I'm still doing the two minute pieces, is what are your big juicy dreams? What is that thing that you have yet to accomplish that you really want to? Short term, long term, it doesn't matter. Set it for two minutes and I did personally and professionally. I added that to every single question. And this was legit. I mean, there were coaches that were wanting to adopt children and they had never voiced that to anyone ever. But because they were on a timer and they had the sticky notes, they were just writing down really fast. And then right here, I stop them and I let them walk me through their compass. Why did you put those answers? Tell me a little bit about this. We really just have that authentic conversation. So you have two, four, six, eight minutes right now. And then for the next chunk, we just have this authentic conversation until the very last piece. I'm like, okay, one more question. One more two minute timer question. What will you cannonball in the waters to try in the next 
week, two weeks, month, two months, and then you have two minutes to write some of these things down. And what we do is we come back to this Cannonball in answers. So I did this in August and I did, I did it again in December. And so what we did is we noticed that the things they wanted to cannonball in the water, I took all their sticky notes, by the way, and transferred them into Excel sheets. So when I'm going out to visit them, I was still getting to know them. I would remember what it was that made them feel like they rocked the day. I wanted to make sure to do those things. But they crossed off these dreams. They were crossing off dreams within three months and then setting new ones, new innovative cannonball and experience goals. That's why it's called the Innovator's Compass. And so this is kind of what it looked like when they were brainstorming real quick. They were writing things down, putting them in the middle, the sides. And, and when we came back to it in December, I pulled out their old sticky notes. They were crumpling them up and throwing them away. This is no longer my current reality. I've, I've got this. Like that, I don't even know why I was worried about that three months ago. So the Innovator's Compass is revolving. It's always, it's evolving. It's always changing and growing because innovators never stay still. So that's the great thing about real plus the Innovator's Compass is you're adding all your realness, the things that you bring to the table, that you're a mom, that you have children, you have all these things going and you're still knocking out these goals professionally and personally. And you have like this accountability partner which just so happens to be your boss or if you're a teacher, it just so happens to be your teacher with the students. But it's a great way, this is a great relationship building tool. So these are some of the things that some of my coaches were saying about it. They were just like, this is so cool. I was finding myself thinking outside the box. At first they thought it was super awkward to be timed and they were like, can we just not do the timer? I'm like, well, I, I would love to not do the timer, but I don't have that much time. And plus they won't write down the answers that you want them to write down if you have a, don't have a timer. So thank you so much for joining. If you try Innovator's Compass, please do tweet me out at Tara Martin EDU. It's so much fun. And you learn a lot about the people that you serve in a short amount of time.